The Sony a7S III is an absolute beast of a mirrorless camera. The spec sheet is phenomenal and the image quality that it produces is fantastic. However, one area where it does lack compared to something like a cinema camera is the form factor and ability to rig it out to your liking. So in today's video, we're gonna talk through how I rig out my Sony a7S III using a small rig cage. Let's get into it. Yo, sub squad, welcome on into the channel. My name is Kyle Meshina. I'm a landscape photographer and YouTuber based here in San Francisco, California. Today we're talking cages for the Sony a7S III, but before we dive into how I rig up my Sony a7S III, I wanted to first talk about why you would rig up a cage in general. And as we're going through this, I also wanna point out that while I have rigged mine out for the Sony a7S III, small rig makes components for lots of different cameras. And I also want to disclaim that none of this was paid for or sponsored by small rig. I purchased all of these on on my own accord. So why would you even use a cage in general? First things first, it does help protect the camera. You have this nice protective cage on the outside. Not only that, but you're mounting things to the cage itself rather than mounting them directly to the camera. So this will prevent any small scratch marks or tool marks that are the outcome of mounting things to your camera. In addition to protection, you also get a lot better ergonomics and mounting points that you can place a lot of your hardware on. Rather than being limited to just one single cold shoe mount, for example, you now have many, many mounting points. Not to mention, it also adds quite a bit to the professional look of your rig. This is probably a little bit of a silly thing to think about, but when you show up to a client shoot and you just have your silly looking small little mirrorless camera there, compared to a very rigged out mirrorless camera, there is a little bit of professionalism that comes from having a nice rig. For the cage itself, I am using the Small Rig A7S III from Small Rig. I've used many different L brackets and hardware components in the past, and I've always really liked the quality of Small Rig, so that is why I went with them. There are other options like Tilta that are making really good products as well. And as I mentioned, this is not sponsored, but there are affiliate links to all of the things that I'm talking about. If you do decide to click on any of those and purchase anything, it's at no cost to you, but I get a little bit of a kickback, which helps keep the channel afloat. Now, my main approach when building out my rig is adaptability. Being a hybrid 50-50 photo and video shooter, I really wanted to have a lot of adaptability to have a bulky rig or a very slim pared down rig, depending on my particular needs for that particular shoot. For the top handle itself, I am using a wooden NATO handle, which has a couple of great features. First, you have that nice wood feel, which is a lot nicer in your hand. You also have a magnetic Allen wrench that sticks in and out for easy access. You also have this very nice little thumb swivel screw in case you mount a different lens or you have a V-mount battery mounted on the back. You can quickly swap the position of the handle with ease. You also have two cold shoe mounts on the front and back. For me, the NATO attachment is perfect because it makes the system a lot more modular and adaptable, as I mentioned. The NATO rails allow you to quickly clamp the handle to the top without the use of a tool, but stay very secure without moving. You do also need to purchase the NATO rails separately, but they're pretty cheap and they just stay on the rig itself. The great thing about a top handle is it really allows you to use the weight of the camera as a means of stabilization. Rather than just holding the camera on the side, by lightly resting the top handle on the palm of your hand or on the fingers of your hand, this allows the weight of the camera to pull down and add as a point of stabilization. If you pair that by tucking your hand underneath the lens, this gives a nice third contact point and keeping everything nice and tight will allow you to keep a nice steady handheld movement. On the front of the handle, I am mounting the Atomos Ninja V as my monitor. Not only is this monitor just a really nice high quality monitor, but it also allows you to record ProRes RAW externally by using the HDMI port on the Sony a7S III. I have this mounted on a Polar Pro swivel mount, which is really convenient for if I'm doing these talking head videos, I can have the monitor pointed towards me, or if I'm doing a normal filming, I can swap it around for the normal view. I then run an HDMI cord into the Sony a7S III, which I have clamped down with an HDMI clamp from Small Rig. For the side handle, I'm using the smallest version of the wooden NATO handle. This can be mounted on either side, and again, I have it attached to a NATO handle for quick and easy swapping, removing, etc. It also has a cold shoe mount if I want to have clean audio with a shotgun microphone. Given that I'm often producing a lot of vertical content for social media and things of that nature, I also like to have the adaptability to swap this side handle to the top of the camera. 
This then gives me a very solid point of contact when holding the camera vertically. And when paired with the flip screen, this gives you a very nice and easy to use, and very stable vertical rig. One thing I would like to see is something like an integrated mount system, like an Arca Swiss mount. Uh, I don't really see any reason why you couldn't do this, and Small Rig already does make these mounts in their L brackets for normal cameras. So I currently have an Arca Swiss mount mounted on the bottom. This could easily be swapped out for a Manfrotto plate for quickly mounting onto a gimbal or a fluid head, for example. But for the most part, I typically keep the Arca Swiss on there. A few other things that you might consider that I have not built out with this rig are mounting on rails on the bottom for mounting a follow focus system. I personally find when paired with native glass and the Sony Eye auto tracking, the focus is pretty impeccable. And of course, if you did want to also then power this with a V-mount battery, there are attachments that you can add on for V-mount battery plates. I do not personally have one mounted on at the moment, but that is absolutely something that I am considering upgrading to in the near future. So guys, I would love to know in the comments, what are some things that you've done to rig out your camera? Are there things that I potentially have forgotten about that you have as like absolute no chance you are going to leave this off of your cage? Do let me know in the comments. If you did like this video, play thumb more with the like button, subscribe, if that's something you haven't done already, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Beyond that, you can also get a lot better econo ergonomics. <laughs> economics. I have to burp. <sighs> Don't drink fizzy water when trying to record a YouTube video. Pample Moose is the best. The focus is pretty impeccable, as we see right here.